Good girl, yeah. Max Prairie Wings presents At the Line. No, no drill. Very Look. simple to do. Very important that your dog understands to learn a straight line. Tally. The way we do that is we build Heel. in little tiny incremental Touch steps. It up. Start with one log. We've got a Good three girl. log set up here. What Steve's going to do is he's going to identify the pile Sit. and cover one log. He's got Sally right beside him. Sally. He's going to throw out a bumper. Fetch. There's Good a girl. bucket there Heel. and a pile of bumpers. Good he's going to send Heel. her on her name, Sally. Sit. She's going to cross that log. Sit. If she tries to go around Fetch. the log, he's going to say, tweet, no, no, here. Hence the name, no, no drill. So as we go through this Heel. thing, he's going to build a little Heel. bit at a time. If you'll notice, Sit. he covered the first log. He's not identifying the pile anymore. He still right. has that bucket there. And the reason we use a black bucket is, if you'll see, she tried to no. go around it. He stopped her. Still not what he's looking for. She covered a little bit of the log, but remember, this is training. We want the dog to take a straight line. Now, the dog's no. not understanding what he's asking, so let's think about this. Good. Sally's had a couple refusals there, so that, what that's telling us is she doesn't understand the concept right now. So what Steve's going to do, he's going to go back to the front log, the first yep. log, and go over it again. Show her the path he's looking for. He's teaching her the line to the blind, okay? And the way Good. this is going to transition into the field is when you have ice, when you have cover, Heel. when you have down trees, and that Heel. dog must stay on a straight Shit. line to recover that bird, you're going to have that tool in your belt Back. to reach in there and get it and get it done. Very nice. So we've made it through two now. There you go. He's making sure that she, when she picks up the bumper, Back. she comes across as well. Covers the log Good. again. Let's hit that log a couple times, Steve. Heel. All right, you still got your bucket Shit. up there. And again, the reason we use the black bucket is we can transition. Back. We can take that bucket away without a lot of harsh side effects. That's the reason we don't use a big white bucket. She's picking Good. it up real easy, real nice. Heel. Now, Shit. you could put 20 logs in front of your dog, 20 brush tops. I gotta go put bumpers. And make it as long as you want. You're teaching Shit. the dog to hold the line. This is gonna help you a ton when you've got a big crosswind, when you've got any cover in the way, when you need the dog to stay in the water and resist the suction of the bank. It's really not much to it, but it's gonna take some time and some repetition. Now, let's say that Sally does not go across the log, and, and we know that she knows that's what we're asking her to do. We're gonna say no, no here, and depending on the dog, we're gonna give her the opportunity to do that two or three times without any pressure. Maybe a little verbal pressure. No here, no ma'am, we don't do it like that. He's gonna line her up no. again. Back. Now remember, it's a Touch great it training opportunity to hit that log on the way back, okay? So we want to do that every time. Good girl. Heel. And it becomes a fun Good game girl. to him before too long. Good girly. Sit. But let's say that she did not cross the log. Back. Depending on the dog, you've got to read your dog. She's got this thing. Oh, there we go. She had a little, she thought a little bit there. Did you see that? She pulled left. And then she thought a little bit, and she said, I'm going to be a good dog and do what I'm supposed to do. Good girl. Good girl. Now, if she didn't do Heel. it, what we would do is come back and say, Shit. no here. Give her a few opportunities. Then we might use some pressure. Back. No here, Nick. Tweet, no, no Nick, here, and reline the dog, OK? Don't try to slam this all into one day. This is a, this is a week-long process. But you can use ground blinds. No. You can use brush tops. You can use logs like we have here at the, at the field right next to firewater. Whatever Back. you'd like to use just to get that dog to take no. some cover. Then try it with water. Get some little pieces of water. Teach that dog to take a straight line. It's an excellent tool to have yeah. in your belt, and you'll always recover more birds in the field if your dog runs a straight line.